Okay, so now I have an application that consists of the React server, the Express API, and the worker process as well. And I'm now going to start the process of adding Docker containers to each of these applications so I can start each of them up inside a development project. So I'm going to take the React app, okay, the Express server, and the worker process and make a dev Docker file for each of these. And we're not going to be deploying everything out to production as that would just make life too easy. First, we're going to make development containers for each version of these applications and ensure that there's a smooth workflow. I need to ensure that if I make some change to some code inside the client project or server project, I need to ensure that I don't rebuild my entire image to get those changes into effect. That would, that would be a really slow and cumbersome workflow. I don't want to rebuild an image every time the source code changes. That means in practice, I need to look at the project files inside of each of these uh, directories here. Um, and I need to set up a Docker file workflow. So each of these projects will have a package.json file that records the dependencies of the project. So I'm going to copy over <clears throat> uh, the package.json file as step number one and then run an npm install and then copy over everything else. And I have a diagram for that as well so you can visually see what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, so I'm going to be setting up a Docker Compose file and that Docker Compose will set up volumes for each of these projects. So we kind of share all of the source code inside of each project. And that's what's going to ensure I don't have to rebuild my image entirely from scratch every time I want to make one tiny little change. So let's get started. I'm going to head over to my terminal. And in here, let me clean this up a bit. Um, I'm going to start up my, uh, well, I have my code editor up already, actually, I just showed it to you. Um, and inside of the client, let me try to clean all this up a bit. Close that. Uh, yes. So I'm inside of my SRC folder and inside of here, which is by the way, inside of the client directory. Okay, so inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close this out. Um, let me take it. Let me think about this. Hold on. Um, yeah, so in my client uh, file, I'm going to go ahead, in my client directory, I'm going to go ahead and make a docker file.dev, like so. Okay, and then inside of here, I'm going to add a base image of Node Alpine. So I'm going to say from Node Alpine. Alpine. Okay, and hmm. All right, I'll leave it like this. Uh, worked or I was I was thinking of uh, whether I wanted to uh, kind of change it from plain text here, but that's fine. I'll leave it as plain text. Uh, because there really is no .dev extension here. As you can see, there's a Docker file, but this is not your average, this is not your normal Docker file, this is a Docker file .dev. So we'll leave it as plain text. All right, so package.json, uh, so, and then run npm install, and copy, space, space, or space dot, space dot, uh, cmd, and npm uh, run uh, start. So let me save that. So I'm probably going to use the same configuration in my other Docker files as well. But before I go ahead and create those, I'm going to test this out by running the Docker build command in my uh, terminal and ensure that I specify the Docker file.dev file as the Docker file of choice in my terminal. And so I need to go over to client like so. And then in here, I'm going to run docker build dash F docker file. Um, and then 
dot, which is referencing uh, the current directory. So the, that period at the end with the space in between dockerfile.dev uh, and it is to specify the build context. So in other words, use the current directory. Okay, and I'm doing all of this inside the client directory. Okay, so just hit enter. See how this goes. Okay, so build context. All right, sending build context to Docker Demon. Very good. Okay, there we go. Nice. So far, so good. And you may see a couple of warnings like this. That's fine. Nothing's broken. It's still running. It's still, still good. These are just warnings. They're just warnings regarding uh, deprecations or impending deprecations. So it's continuing step number four. Eventually, it should go to the, uh, the next step. So step number four is NPM install. Then there's two more steps, step five and six. So there we go, more warnings. Okay, we're almost there. I usually just kind of end the video at this point, but I don't want to do that because I want to go ahead and run it so that you could see it running. And so we wait, there we go, step five, copying, and then step six would be that npm run start. Those commands. Ooh. Sometimes uh, this runs really fast, but sometimes it runs really slow, and there we go. Okay, so now, uh, there's my container right here. It's built. I'm going to copy it and now I'm going to try to build it. Docker run. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. And so the React scripts should start. It should start up the development server and the application. All right. And so now I am going to. There we go. So you can now view the client. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to show you that in this video because I let it run on you guys just watching this process. Um, I'll just go ahead and continue this in a subsequent video. So I'll see you soon.